Hey guys, welcome to my channel and great Vim backup and replication course. So in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about how we can install Vim backup and replication version 11 in your Windows server to take backup from your virtual environment, which is going to be your Nutanix server or ESXi server or Hyper-V server. So first off, we need to download Vim backup and replication version 11 from Vim website. So to do that, we're going to click on Google and here we'll type download Vim and the first link or the second is going to point you to the installation of Vim backup and replication, which is going to be a Vim availability suite. So when you download Vim Availability Suite here, you should click on Download. So first off, you need to log into the Vim uh, website by Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Microsoft account. And then you can download the app very easily. When you download Vim Backup and Replication, you'll see it like this. This, I mean, uh, compressed file and when you extract it you will see vim backup and replication version 11 and vim 1 to monitor your vim backup and replication and also your uh, vsphere or hyper-v environment so we want to install a vim backup and replication for today's lesson so simply we'll click on mount and here we'll double click on the setup file and simply we'll click on install so the installation is very simple, very easy, and you can do it in your lab environment. You can actually install VM on your VMware workstation or VMware player or virtual box, very easy, and install the virtual machine and download the Vim backup and replication exe file and start uh, installing Vim backup and replication like me. So it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to install the Vim backup and replication. So we're going to accept the license agreement and next. So this is the license area here. We don't need to add the license. If you haven't have the uh, license, don't worry. You can practice the whole features with Vim backup and replication by the community edition. That means we have the free version, which is going to be Vim Backup and Replication Community Edition. So we're going to click on Next as we don't have the license, but for your production environment, you should purge the license and start taking backup from your virtual servers. But with the free edition, or I should say community edition, we're going to have 10 instances so when you calculate it, you can take backup from one or two servers and less than uh, 10 virtual machines without purchasing any license. So that's great. If you have a very small network, you can use Community Edition. So we're going to click on Next. So as you can see, the system configuration checks actually detects this component should be installed on your windows server as a vim backup and replication so we're going to click on install to install the failed component like microsoft.net core runtime and the rest of them so we're going to click on install so now as you can see system configuration checks pass successfully all the components so we're going to click on next and then you can specify let me specify different settings and in most cases we're going to accept the default setting so as you can see the installation is going to install microsoft sql server express additions and the rest of component by the way if you have a massive uh vSphere or Hyper-V environment, I highly recommend you that you install Vim Backup and Replication and add it to the external SQL server, which is going to be a standard or enterprise edition. That's going to help you to 
improve your performance while you're taking backup from your vSphere or Hyper-V or whatever virtualization environment. So I'm going to get back when the installation complete. So now, as you can see, we successfully installed Veeam Backup and Replication. Now is the time to actually take a look at the fresh installation of Veeam Backup and Replication. In your desktop, you should double click on the Veeam Backup and Replication icon and simply we should click on Connect. So it takes time, maybe about 20 or 13 seconds to connect to the Veeam Backup and Replication database and gather the information to start actually exploring our Veeam Backup Manager which is going to be connected from this application. That means this uh, Veeam Backup application client is going to connect to the Veeam Backup Manager itself which is connected to the SQL Server that it's already installed in your Veeam Backup and Replication. So as you can see, Veeam Backup and Replication 11 is part of the Veeam Availability Suite and the license is going to be Community Edition. So if you want to practice this course, I highly recommend you to install, uh, let me show you the system information here. At least you need 4 GB of RAM and 2 virtual CPU, which is going to be, for my case, is i7. You can even practice with i3 processor. So, and the memory is going to be 4 GB. It's recommended at least to be 4 GB. So that's great. And here, as you can see, this is Veeam Backup and Replication. Hopefully, the interface it doesn't change from the version 9.5. That means if you have a Veeam Backup and Replication, you will see that it is exactly like uh, the version 9.5. So this is great option. That means they didn't change the interface. So here in Home, or of course here, we're gonna click on this icon and Help. And here you can see about this is going to be a Veeam Backup and Replication version 11. Again, is part of Veeam Availability Suite and the license is Community Edition. So that's great. And here in Infrastructure, we can add a server or create a job or restore. And here in Physical, so we're going to take a tour on this uh, Veeam Backup and Replication. And then in the next lesson, I'm going to connect this Veeam Backup and Replication to the vSphere environment, which is going to be my ESXi or vCenter server, and start taking backup. So here, from physical infrastructure, you can easily take backup from your physical server by creating protection groups. So, and here we have FileShare and the rest of them and backup infrastructure. So, simply we'll click on this icon and we're gonna bring all the components here. So, in home again, we have job and last 24 hour job, which is the report for your backup job and here in inventory which i explained it before and here in backup infrastructure you can see backup proxy and backup repository which is gonna create the default backup repository which is located to the e partition so let's go here so as you can see veeam is already detected my second disk which is going to be a repo label here that's great that means veeam backup is no longer install the default backup repository on the windows partition in previous versions for example version 9.5 or uh, earlier version when you install veeam backup our application is going to install Veeam repository on the Windows partition, which is not a good case. So that's great. Of course, here you can add another repository. We'll say, for example, direct attached storage, the disk that inside this server, 
or a network attached storage or these are the cloud storage so we're gonna click on this and we're gonna say windows or a linux repository this is the new features that you can add a linux as a repository in Veeam backup and replication version 11 and here you can select and and give it the name and simply you can add for example for this server or add another server you just connect to it and then you can populate the disks so later on i'm going to tell you how you can create uh, a repository but for now that would be okay and this is the external repository which is going again connect to the cloud aws or veeam backup for microsoft azure and veeam backup for google cloud so that's great and here in the storage infrastructure you can add your storage which is going to be cisco hyperflex or dell emc and the rest of them as you can see and this is the tape infrastructure you can add your tape server actually to take backup and store them on the tape drive so that's great so that is how you can install a veeam backup and replication and before we close this session i want to tell you about the lab that i'm going to start taking backup from it which is going to be two es6 size 192 168 10 1 and 2 and these three virtual machines which one of them is vcenter and windows server and microtik device which is very simple even you don't need to install vcenter server just one es6 size and one or two virtual machines that would be okay you can practice 80% of the Veeam uh, backup and replication ability with this simple lab. But for some tasks like Veeam replication or I don't know, van acceleration or proxy or things like that, it's better that you have this center server to practice all the component in your Veeam backup and replication. So, and here in my website, uh, I have very great course which is Veeam Backup and Replication Zero to Hero here in Veeam Availability Suite and of course you can take a look at monitor virtual servers using Veeam One which is a free course but here I'm gonna teach you how you can take backup and replicate those backups to the outside data center and here as you can see I'm going to talk about build entire lab backup and replication for virtual machines and these are the lessons as you can see which is around eight hours a course very completed and new course i highly recommend you to enroll in this course and start learning how you can take backup from your virtual environment so don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on notification and if you have any question please comment below in this video i will respond to your question very quickly and i will help you to master beam backup and replications